It's the traditions of the regiment that forge these bonds of comradeship. This is an intercompany boxing match for the men of the 2nd Battalion, the Queen's Regiment, on active service in Northern Ireland. Most of the men here will remain with their regiment for the whole of their service. In ways like this, fighting spirit is reinforced by a unique kind of rivalry. Each soldier believes himself to be in the best platoon of the best company of the best battalion of the best regiment in the army. And I believe that we have seen examples of the very best type of fighting spirit. We've seen the will to carry on when the legs are beginning to turn to rubber and indeed a significant amount of grit. Last night, Private Rooney, as you've heard, was shot by the IRA. Before he got carted off to hospital, I was talking to him and his principal concern is whether or not C Company were actually going to be able to find a reserve to take his place. Regimental identity makes its own unique contribution to soldiers' morale. But it is the intimate relationship between the members of the small unit which lies at the very heart of fighting spirit. Throughout history, armies have tended to make the smallest brick of their organization a group of no more than ten men who could get to know each other well. This four-man team patrolling Derry keeps going because each soldier in it knows his comrades, trusts them, and knows that they rely on him. The infantry section, or the crew of the armoured vehicle, are the men at the cutting edge of war, and it is their efforts that decide the outcome of battles. <laughs> 